another beautiful day God has given us, and I pray today that you'll enjoy it and share him with others. You know, when we look around today, we still hear people say there's no such thing as a God. Uh, he's never existed. Uh, Jesus was just a good man. And then they tell us, and they want us to believe this far-fetched story, that all of a sudden in space, something got to turn in real fast, or maybe something got heated up and it exploded, and boom, Earth was there, and the, and the planets and the stars, and slowly but surely we developed out of some animal or something, uh, which is just as far-fetched as it can be. Listen at what Pro, uh, Psalms chapter 19, verse 1 through 4. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmaments show his handiwork. Day unto day utter speech, and night unto night reveals knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he has set a tabernacle for the sun. I was out the other morning walking. The sun's coming up. Beautiful sunrise. And I could hear birds chirping and singing all around me. All kind of different ways that birds make noise today. And then you hear the livestock and the animals mooing and donkeys making their fuss and chickens and roosters crowing and chickens clucking. And you look up at that sun and you say, Lord, how can they not believe that you exist, that you knew how far to put that sun away from us? Number one, so we didn't melt into heat. Number two, we didn't freeze to death in the cold. That you put those stars out there that as this earth rotates the sun, we are not running into stars. Now, we have little things that come through the atmosphere and burn up occasionally, but we are, we're never being bombarded with stars getting in our way. And the earth knows how fast to spin so that we have gravity. It doesn't slow down. All of a sudden we float away. How can they not believe that this is not created by God? It says here, if, if, his, if his existence is so apparent, why do so many still refuse to acknowledge that there is a living God and that he is still active? today. Folks, how did we all come to be? The Bible says we are made in the image of God. Even the people who never heard of God until missionaries came believed there was something greater. If I'm not mistaken, the Indians called it the Great Spirit. And they knew something was out there that was bigger than us. There is no reason why we can't believe that. It says his existence is broadcast daily. I've often thought these animals, you know, I saw a fish the other day on TV or on the computer that had all these colors in there that were so beautiful. There's no way a sudden bang put those colors on that fish. Folks, today there is a living God that oversees us, that made us in his image, that takes care of us, provides for us. Yes, we still must honor him. And I'll tell you what, he sent his son to die because man gave up in the, in the uh, garden and, and, cre and committed sin. And God had to send his son to die for us so that we can be forgiven. And the people that are saying there is no such thing as a God one day are going to regret that because we're going to bow before this God and we're going to declare he is the true God. And I'm telling you, folks, it's for real. People often tell me, oh, if they die, that's it. They're going to put me in the ground and that's it. Well, I'm going to leave you with this thought. If that's true, if that would be true, I have nothing at all to worry about. But folks, I'm telling you, that is a lie of the devil. There is a God who sits on a throne in heaven, and one day you're going to answer to him. So just keep on believing what you're believing, and you're going to pay the price. Eternity in hell. Why not give your heart to God today? And know that there is a God sitting on a throne in heaven who created everything you see today. And he lives today inside of those who will give their heart to him. He's real. And he's soon to come again. And those who have doubted, 
that he is real are going to regret the moment they never accepted him. Because every man, woman, boy, and girl will be given that chance to accept him as a Lord and Savior. Don't blow that chance. Don't throw it away, my friend, and spend eternity in hell. When he's given you a chance today to accept him as your Lord and Savior. Lord, thank you today. I'm so glad, Lord, that you... It says in your word, it's not your will that any should perish, but that all would come to the saving knowledge of you. Pray today, God, for those that are lost and that are sin, out in sin, that are being told lies of, by the devil that you're not real and you're never coming back. One day they're going to see that he is the liar and that you were sitting on a throne and that you were the creator of everything that's ever been. I pray today, Holy Spirit, deal with them in such a way with conviction that they must surrender to you to get peace of mind. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Folks, I love you today. May God bless you.